It's really easy to insert items into your Google Drawing and it's very similar to how you did your background. You just click insert, go to image and search the web to find pictures that you would like to put in. Um, so you just want to remember to make sure that you always put the word transparent in your search. Um, that's going to make sure that whatever you're putting in isn't going to have like a white box around and it's going to have a transparent background. Um, and it is important to make sure that we are searching for pictures in that way, doing it through the insert tool instead of opening a new tab to make sure that we're not getting anything that's copyright. Um, but once you find something you like, just click on it and insert. And you can resize by using the corner boxes. Always try to drag from the corner so that you aren't messing with the dimensions of the picture too bad. Add a couple other things in here so I can show you something else. Let's stick a book in there. All right, now we've got a book floating around in space. Some other cool things to know. Um, some way you can kind of change or play with the positioning of an item that you add in. If you right click and you click on rotate, you can choose to flip the item. So like if you want it to um, completely flip the other direction, you can do that. Or you can use also this little um, circle up here to just kind of grab and rotate things around a little bit if you want to do that. All right, and then I'm going to put, let's put an alien up floating around in outer space with us. And choose this little guy. All right, and let's say I get him in there and I decide I want it to look like he is holding this book. Um, but it doesn't look right because right now his hand is up above. So all that I need to do is change the order. Um, so I want the book to come forward. So all I need to do is click on the book, right click, go to order, and then bring to front. And now it looks like he's holding that book up. You can also create items to put into your drawing um, just by sort of making them yourself by doing insert, going to shape. There's all kinds of different shapes you can use to play with and put together to create different items that you may want. Um, or don't forget that we learned about that really cool tool that's called Auto Draw. If you just Google Auto Draw, it will come up. Um, it's the one that you can kind of scribble and it will try to guess what you're drawing. And you can create drawings that way to go into um, to be your items to go into your Google Drawing.